Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul and y'all had some opinions about the last one. In my last video I did speak on how some Dollar Trees are having the Dollar Tree Plus section so it's becoming a little bit more like Five Below. A lot of people were totally against it, like myself. Some people say that it's a good thing because it brings more variety. I personally think that as long as they keep the items that are already placed as at a dollar, as a dollar, then we're good to go. Um, so we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll start popping up in more places, maybe not. Maybe they're just testing it out. A lot of people are saying that they're testing it out in some areas. We'll see what happens. But today I wanted to share all of the cool things that I found that are still a dollar. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the coolest things that I found, especially now that I'm doing a ton of boho videos, which I think I'm going to take a break on that for now, is this cute little cactus ceramic thing. I think this is adorable just as is. This is something that you would definitely buy at Claire's or any of those cute little stores and it would be definitely more than a dollar and it has this cute little pink flower up here super duper cute dollar tree is getting way way better when it comes to home decor another cactus thing that i really fell in love with was this little plant and go plant a garden and watch it grow this little decor piece is adorable but one of the coolest things is that you can actually remove this completely so if you want to go ahead and wipe these letters clean with acetone or whatever you want you can do that you can just use this in whatever you have around your home or one of the coolest things that i thought was maybe just putting it like this and putting an incense burner up top obviously not incense here because you don't want it to like go up in flames but maybe putting an incense burner on top of this if that makes any sense. I just think this is really really cute for boho decor or just about anything. I am really really glad that they have onion grass back in stock. This is kind of hard to find in all of the Dollar Trees that I've gone to and it's so useful not just for summertime. Obviously they have it in summertime because it goes so well with nautical decor but there are so many pieces that are just so, so beautiful with this added on. So the one that I got was a little bit wonky. I probably should have checked it in stores. But yeah. I have been going crazy looking for the Paisley stencil. Dollar Tree has some really great stencils right now. And this is the one pattern that I couldn't find. I hauled it a while ago. I gave it away. And this week when I did my boho decor video, I really wanted to use the paisley pattern to keep it all Dollar Tree, but I couldn't have it. So if you are planning on making that little tray that I made and you don't want to use the Waverly uh, stencil, this is also a really, really great stencil to use in place of that. And it's a nice size. For Dollar Tree stencils, usually Dollar Tree stencils are like this big. So this is a really, really nice size. I love these multi-purpose clips. I use them all the time for chips and anything in the kitchen. But these are so decorative and cute. They are really cute colors and they're nice and strong so you can use them for just about anything but I really love keeping this in the kitchen and they come in a pack of six. Another thing that I use in place of this if I cannot find these are just the regular wood. This isn't anything new. I'm not reinventing the wheel. Nobody is but the wood clothespins are great for that as well. I found more of the little cardboard drawers. I love this. So not last week, but the week before, I made a little drawer chest thing using these and the Jenga pieces. I'll leave that video below, but it was my first boho video. And during Christmas, I actually made these into a advent calendar in the shape of a Christmas tree. Well, sort of the shape of a Christmas tree, but I love them. You can do so much. I have some in my kitchen just holding my little tea packets and I get so much use out of this and the patterns are getting prettier and prettier. In the picture frame section, I found this really, really cool 
I'm gonna say it's a shadow box. Anything that has the artwork pushed back, I call a shadow box. But it has a string and little clothespins and says, make your dreams happen. This is so cool. I love the pattern in the back. I love these type of patterns when they're black and white. It just looks so, so good. Always remove the artwork and paint it your own color. It's up to you. For a dollar, you can do so much with this. Speaking of signs, I found a lot of cool nautical signs this week. This one isn't nautical, so I'll show you this one first. It is the You Are Always Loved with the little flip thingy right here. Recently, Mama from Scratch made a little open and closed one with lemon decor, which was super duper cute. But when I saw this, this is exactly what I thought, an open and closed sign. You can do many other things with this as well. I don't really love it as is. This is one of those pieces that I would definitely make over, but I do love buying their wood signs for that reason. You can use them for so much and they're pretty sturdy. Another one that I really loved, and this one is nautical, is the seashell one. I would definitely make this over, but I love the shape of it. And I love that this one is even sturdier. They're making them thicker and thicker, which is really nice. And then I got the Hello Summer. I had the other one with the starfish and that one I removed the starfish and made it over in one of my first nautical videos. Well, my second nautical video, but I was planning on doing something similar with the starfish. So I don't know. We'll see if I put out another nautical video soon. I love, love, love the adult coloring books. And this one is called Everyone Loves Coloring Patterns. It has a ton of really, really cool pieces. For some piece, people, this is really stressful. I don't know why. This is really, really relaxing to me, except for when I actually filmed myself coloring this, that was really stressful. Because filming things, when you craft and you're not filming it, it's really relaxing. But to get camera angles and things in focus, ah, it's just not relaxing, it's, it's not. I don't care who says it, it's not. <laughs> then I also found this giant Shopkins coloring and activity book. This is so cute. As I mentioned in my last video, I do like to get a lot of these things and put them all in a pile for Christmas for donations. I have a lot of Shopkins toys, which I've hauled previously. So I think pairing it with something like this would complete it, maybe put it in a little baggie for someone. It's just a great idea. We're already filming these hauls, so you just put them together and you give a cute little gift. And this is so nice. So I bought one to gift during Christmas and I bought one for my daughter as well because she won't let me get away with bringing something home and not coloring on it, so yeah. The little jars of buttons are back at Dollar Tree. So they have a colorful variety super duper cute it has a ton of really cool patterns in there and what i mean by patterns is the part where you actually loop your thread and then they have the neutral one which is browns beige i think they have some whites in here buttons are really not that cheap when you're looking for something in different sizes so this is a really really good buy i did use these in one of my gift baskets which i actually did a giveaway on a while ago and it was a crafter's gift basket so yeah this i thought was really cool and i hope i hope i hope that because it is name brand that it actually works and it's the essential oil armor all car vent clip yeah that's what it is so i've purchased a ton of vent clips from dollar tree and they have been duds even the really cute ones that have the little hawaiian flowers i had really high hopes for those and they smell like nothing so when i saw this i got really excited because i figured if it was armor all maybe that meant that it worked who knows maybe it doesn't either way we'll try it out their summer toys are getting better and better. I remember when I used to buy summer toys for decor, you could literally bend them out of shape, especially the ones that you use to play in the sand. But these are really nice. So I got this cute little boat and it has a little ducky. Yes, a duck and a fish for you to model in the sand. 
This is adorable. Of course, you can make this over and use it as regular everyday nautical decor with a fresh coat of paint. I'm pretty sure there's other crafters that have already done that. But this is nice and it is a really nice size as well. In the kids section, I found these little Play-Doh modeling things. I just love this. One for my daughter and two for crafting. I do a lot of things with modeling clay. Some of them I put on the channel. Some of them I do not because people flip out when anything isn't completely Dollar Tree or mostly Dollar Tree. But I love this for modeling clay to make little trinkets, to make little things. I posted on Instagram this weekend the fondant cakes that I used to make and that is why I love modeling clay so much. It kind of reminds me of when I used to make little figurines with fondant. So maybe one day I'll make some fondant cakes on the channel. It's just really expensive to make, especially when you don't have clientele. And that bird is driving me insane or duck, whatever it is. So sorry, y'all. So let me show you some of the stuff that I saw in stores, which was amazing, but I didn't need. So this first one I just forgot to mention, it's a little pineapple trinket tray. I think these are so cute and they had so many different ones, but I didn't record it in stores. Just wanted to show you guys before I forget that I even hauled this. Then I found these really cool lip glosses, sweet peach scented, this cute little photo album and they did have different patterns as well. And these makeup bags are so cute. They come in different colors and patterns like this last one right here that has kind of like a holographic sheen to it. So that's it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments below what you'll be on the lookout for. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. Maybe some of them not Dollar Tree related. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and I will never, ever get tired of saying that. So thank you so much and I will see you on the next one.